Hey guys, Jessica Damu here with another custom Gundam MSA review. And while it'd be cool to review each of these one by one, uh, time just isn't as abundant as it used to be. So this is a set of Battle Scarred Extended MSA figures made by Sylvester Castillo, uh, aka Dark Vortex, the king of battle scarring. Ah, so fortunate. And I know a bunch of you are freaking out right now, as you usually do, and I don't blame you entirely. We're going, how could you do that? Hold on. In all my trading and all my buying over the years, I have ended up with a few figures that someone else had tried to battle scar. And most people who dabble in battle scarring aren't very good at it. And so uh, I just kind of had them in my collection all these years in a subpar kind of way. And I sent them off to Sylvester and I said, look, these have already been started. Can you salvage them? And, uh, boy golly, he did. And so, uh, a lot, some of it's just a dirty wash, like on this bazooka here. But then there's this at, uh, this shield. And some extra shields from some customization projects. It's an extended shield, another extended shield. Zaku 2 version 1, or Zaku 1. Shield, alternate shoulder, some alternate heads just with dirty washes on them. This uh is black because someone made it black um, beforehand, and it still is, but now it's part of this whole machine gun that's been battle scarred. Hands have been given like a dirty wash. Same for this bazooka, but the real, the real deal is the figures. So, let's take a look at them. This one I just put a cape on from a Star Wars figure because I thought it was cool. I don't know. <laughs> it's just something I got to try it out. <laughs> uh, I like it. I don't know. So, machine gun, you can see the gnarly battle damage on this guy. Just gnarly. You know, the shoulder's been... <laughs> Through hell. There's pockets. The shield is my favorite, though. Look at that. Just. You can see it. It's brutal. Absolutely brutal. Just so you can see the back of the figure, too. Not so bad on the back of the figure. It's a little bit. Looks like he's been through battle. These uh, guys are what I hope to use in part at Odessa. I told him specifically, like, make these guys look like they could still be functioning, you know. Um, but parts will be able to be swapped out with a perfectly fine Zaku. So this shield could easily be put onto a standard one that hasn't been battle scarred at all. And that's what I love about the MSA, that they're so very, very modular. I save the good for last. We've got our other Zaku, and you could see lots of detail, lots of battle scratching and whatnot on him. He's got a commander's head, but we can swap that out and just make him a grunt. Now nah, he's a grunt. The shield, someone else had made it like that, and uh, it was kind of different. Got some heavy, heavy battle damage to it. Seen some slices and whatnot, some bullets. Now for the goof. The goof is beautiful. I just love this. <laughs> like all that silver, you know, and this could just be explosions and shrapnel and, and things like that have damaged it. Um, at the same time, Mobile Suit could just be on the ground dead, you know, and you wouldn't think anything of it. So, quite a lot of possibilities for stop motion. I don't know when I'm going to be able to do stop motion again. Uh, I'm in a very different state of life right now, working on my funeral director internship. But, um, I'm going to keep building things, working on projects towards that end. Until, you know, I know otherwise, uh, even though I don't know when I'll get that opportunity next. 
So thank you, Sylvester. I hope to use these guys in stop motion someday. And thanks for all your hard work, man. Always do appreciate it. Well, make sure to like, favorite, and subscribe as I'm always posting custom Gundam MSA stuff and uh, Army Toy reviews and other stuff like that. I'll see you guys later.